Many people didn't notice mythological references in the Netflix's Dark. Even if you have noticed, you are about to realize how deep the subject goes into detail and that the real meaning of the Dark series is completely based on mythological information. Sic mundus creatus est. This is the phrase that we all saw in the dark and wonder what this is. It is the tenth statement in Corpus Hermeticum, it means, and the world was created like that. For better understanding we need to know what is Corpus Hermeticum and who wrote that. Corpus Hermeticum is written by Hermes Trismegistus. Name sounds familiar right? Hermes Trismegistus may be associated with the Greek god Hermes. Greeks in the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt recognized the equivalence of Hermes and Thoth through the Interpretatio Graeca. Consequently, the two gods were worshipped as one, in what had been the Temple of Thoth in Kamenu, which was known in the Hellenistic period as Hermopolis. Hermes, the Greek god of interpretive communication, was combined with Thoth, the Egyptian god of wisdom. According to ancient texts, Hermes Thoth is also a wise man who lived in ancient Egypt. Hermes Thoth, also seen as an excellent scientist, played an important role in alchemy. Many Christian writers, considered him to be a wise pagan prophet who foresaw the coming of Christianity. In ancient Greek texts, wise Hermes Thoth is mentioned as the founder of magic, alchemy, astronomy, medicine and wisdom. In these texts, it is referred to as Hermes Trismegistus, meaning three times the great Hermes. This wise is often written as Hermes Trismegistus to be distinguished from other Hermes. The Egyptians, on the other hand, were deemed worthy of the title of Trismegistus, which meant three times great because of being both king, great priest and founder of religion. According to James Churchward, he is an Atlantean sage who brought the monotheistic religion from Mu and Atlantis to Egypt in 16,000 BC. Some researchers, such as Murray Hope, argue that the monotheistic religion on these lost continents is Sirius culture, a teaching of Sirius origin. According to some, this Hermes Thoth is mentioned as Enoch prophet in Old Testament and Idris prophet in Quran. Giving us the first information about Hermetic writings, it is Apollonios of Thailand who lived in the first century after Christ. Apollonios made very detailed explanations in the Secret Book of Creation about how he accessed these works. I will not mention all the details here, but let's listen to a little part of the Apollonios mouth that you will connect with the Dark series. I found a dark passage under the ground that did not allow sunlight. It was also in vain to try to light a torch here, because the wind blowing constantly did not allow it. Did the events become more familiar? So let's look at a different part now. I assume every one of you who watched the show remembers Martha Nielsen's theatrical performance. But, do you remember what it was about? It was a play based on the Theseus and the Minotaur myth in Greek mythology, was set up at the Winden School with Martha Nielsen in the lead role of Ariadne. Ariadne was daughter of King Minos. If we take a quick look at what the myth is, King Minos's wife had an affair with a bull who sent by Zeus and gave birth to Minotaur, a creature half man, half bull. When King Minos found out this, he hid the monster in the labyrinth constructed by Daedalus at the Minoan palace of Gnosis. Actually we have another video about this place on the channel, for more information watch our video about mythical places on earth. Back to the myth. Minos was imprisoning his enemies in the labyrinth so that the Minotaur could eat them. The labyrinth was such a complicated construction that no one could ever find the way out alive. After several failed attempts to kill Minotaur, Theseus, son of Aegis decided to go Crete, in order to kill the Minotaur and end the human sacrifices to the monster. Theseus announced to King Minos that he was going to kill the monster, but Minos knew that even if he did manage to kill the Minotaur, Theseus would never be able to exit the labyrinth. Theseus met Princess Ariadne, daughter of King Minos, who fell madly in love with him and decided to help Theseus. She gave him a thread and told him to unravel it as he would penetrate deeper and deeper into the labyrinth, so that he knows the way out when he kills the monster. Theseus followed her suggestion and entered the labyrinth with the thread. Theseus managed to kill the Minotaur and save the Athenians, and with Ariadne's thread he managed to retrace his way out. Claudia and the myth of Ariadne and the labyrinth throughout this first season of Dark, the myth of Ariadne is mentioned or alluded to several times. Adult Jonas has several photos linked to Ariadne on the wall of his hotel room. The red string in the Winden labyrinth is again directly connected with Ariadne's thread which she gave to Theseus. Both Claudia and Jonas have thematic connections to Ariadne and myth of the labyrinth. 
Claudia appears to be the guardian of the cave portal in a way, given how she eventually teaches Jonas how to navigate it. Then Jonas in turn is akin to Theseus, he perceives himself to be the hero who will defeat the Minotaur, which could be an analogy for Noah or the wormhole itself. He also severs himself from Martha after learning that she's really his aunt. Last one is coming for the obsessed ones like me. In the Martha Nielsen's phone used for time traveling, the screensaver writes Ariadne on it. As it can be understood from all this, mythological information underlies the sic mundus creatus est writing, in a sense, the main mystery of Netflix is dark. And there are several allusions to mythology in it. If you enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up subscribe our channel and click on that bell. If there is a topic you want, please write it in the comments, maybe you can help us to come up with the interesting ideas.